China sets its currency lower again today after its surprise devaluation of the yuan yesterday for the first time in more than 20 years. The decision has driven investors to safer assets. Our Song ji reports. China pushed down the value of its currency for a second day, setting another 1.6% lower on Wednesday after lowering 1.86% the day before. Tuesday's devaluation was the biggest one-day fall since a massive devaluation in 1994 when China aligned its official and market rates. The devaluations follow weakened data that showed China's exports tumbled 8% last month, hit by weaker demand from Europe, the U.S. and Japan, and that producer prices had entered a fourth year of deflation. The action sent stock markets across the globe spinning, with prices raw materials and crude oil also dropping sharply. Investors appeared worried that the decision is a sign of Beijing's own growing concern about the sliding economic growth rate and its ability to bolster growth. Demand for safer assets pushed down bond deals in the U.S. and Europe. Beijing's action also weighs heavy on the U.S. Fed and could force it to delay a rate hike previously expected in the second half of the year. For China, the benefits are clear. A cheaper yuan will boost exports by making them less expensive in overseas markets. I think the present situation won't have a clear impact on the areas of trade and investment. But my personal feeling is that, as in the past, the latest information today that the renminbi has gone down and the adjustment of it, especially downwards, will have a stimulating effect on exports. And as China is Korea's biggest trading and export partner, stronger demand and growth in Beijing will also benefit Seoul in the long run. Korea's finance minister Choi kyung hwan said the government is closely monitoring the foreign exchange market and the latest devaluation may have positive effects on outbound shipments as Seoul mostly exports intermediary goods to China and Beijing ships them out after final production. Song Jae-san, Arirang News.